Hello everyone, today I'll show you some parasitic apps that are found on every smartphone. It's a good idea to get rid of them to improve your smartphone's performance. They're responsible for system processes that constantly run in the background, slowing down your phone and putting a significant load on all other processes. This can cause apps to run very slowly. Your phone and Android system can lag, the entire interface can become glitchy, and this can also significantly drain your battery. I think everyone has experienced this. You buy a new smartphone, you're using it, but suddenly it starts to perform poorly. The first thing you think about is that your phone is outdated and it's time to upgrade to something newer. But I'd say don't rush into this, because there are certain settings, parasitic apps, that drain your battery life and put a significant load on your smartphone. This can cause it to slow down. So, be sure to double check. These settings are available on almost all smartphone models. I'll tell you everything and show you now. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share with your friends. So, for the first setup, you need to use the regular standard settings. Click here. Next, you need to scroll down and find the item responsible for the Google section. Usually, this line is Google or maybe called Google Accounts. Click on it. Look, in my case, it shows recommendations right away, but we don't need them. On some smartphones, you will see a list called All Services. In this case, you need to click this button, and we will get this list. The first thing we are interested in is personalization based on shared data. This setting is available on all smartphones. And if you go here, you will be surprised. Some apps will be here. For example, I have five of them. You can have two apps, three or more, in some cases up to 10. All the apps included here collect information from your smartphone, but they also manage other apps. While this app currently includes Google apps, like Maps, Gmail, and Google Chrome, it's also responsible for scanning your contacts, videos, and audio. These apps can also share data with other apps on your device. In short, they simply collect data about how you use the app, what you type, what search queries you make, what you send, what you click, where you are, and so on. All this information is collected, sent to Google servers, and constantly transmitted over your mobile data and Wi-Fi. All of this is analyzed, and then you get a ton of ads. Plus, of course, your battery drains significantly. You should simply turn all of this off for best performance and to prevent unnecessary data collection. Don't rush to switch off, be sure to watch to the end. I'll show you some more important settings that affect these parasites that waste your system resources, causing your phone to simply slow down. To do this, you need to go back a bit. And then look, here in this same section, you have a line called Advertising. Click on it. Here you'll see a list of settings. And you'll also see an additional setting here that wasn't there before. This is advertising privacy. It was added just recently, and most likely, you'll have it all enabled. Just like I do now. The first setting is Add Themes. This specifies that themes that interest you will be used. They will be determined based on information about the apps you've recently used and recently opened. That is, this refers to all the apps on your smartphone. And no matter what you use, for example, YouTube, any browser, or social media, all of this is saved. And apps begin to share the information you entered with each other. In general, it's certainly advisable to disable this slider. Then we go back. Look what else is enabled here. Ads offered by the app. Again, the slider is enabled. This specific feature is shared with other apps you have installed. So, for example, if one app has received some data and sent it to the servers, it can also share it with other apps. And you could, for example, See the same ad in different apps. Of course, we go ahead and disable it. Then we go back. Ad performance evaluation. Well, the manufacturers have certainly done their best here. And if you have this slider enabled, the advertisers themselves will also request information from your Android, something they've supposedly already collected, to compare with their own data. Basically, this is a direct extraction of some already collected data. Of course, go ahead and disable it. All these sliders, at least these three sliders, don't bring you any comfort. They're only needed by developers to control how you use apps. And, of course, they'll send you a lot of ads to promote their services. So, let's go back here. And here, look, we have three settings disabled. One, two, three. Then, use the back arrow. A little further down, we'll see a situation where your phone already has an advertising identifier that has collected some data and is used by other apps to download ads or, conversely, to collect information about different apps, how you use them, and then send it somewhere. To significantly reduce ads and, again, to significantly reduce control, you need to tap Reset Advertising Identifier here. That is, tap Reset Advertising Identifier. Confirm this here. And then delete the Advertising Identifier and delete it.
After this, you'll notice improved performance on your smartphone, increased speed, reduced internet traffic consumption, reduced battery drain, and overall significantly fewer ads on your smartphone. Yes, they won't disappear completely, but there will be significantly fewer of them, allowing your smartphone to work much more efficiently than before. Because when your smartphone is overloaded with various background processes running in stealth mode without you even realizing it, they put a significant strain on your device. Check these settings, they're available on all smartphones. Don't forget to support us with a like and subscribe to the channel.